This is section 5.5, The Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. In this video, we're going to go through problem 21 in your book. And this is an example where it's asking us to do a bunch of different functions right here. So but the first time you see this, it probably looks a little bit confusing. There's a whole lot going on. But actually, this problem is super easy to do. So we're going to go through the long way of how to do it. Then afterwards, we're going to go through a quick trick of how to think of these problems. So the long way. We take this piece by piece. This first part is asking us to find the integral of this function. So the integral of t to the fifth, just add one to the exponent, multiply by the reciprocal, and same thing over here, this will become 9 over 4, t to the fourth, from 0 to x. Now we just plug in our top number, subtract whatever we get when we plug in our bottom number, and this becomes 1 6, x to the sixth, minus 9 over 4, x to the fourth, minus when I plug in 0 here, I'll get 0 minus 0, which is just 0. But remember, it's asking us to take the derivative of this whole part. So now we're just moving out. We did this first part, took the integral. And next thing, it's asking us to take the derivative of what we just did. So when I take the derivative of this whole thing, I get, using my power rule, that this is x to the fifth minus 9x cubed. And that's my answer which if you notice looks strikingly similar to what I started with up here. And that's the quick trick of how to think of these things. So remember, if you think back to our relationship between f prime of x, f of x, and capital F of x, to go this direction, we're taking the integral, and to go this direction, we're taking the derivative. So applying that here, if we start with the inside, so we're starting here with our original function f of x. Here's our original function f of x. The next thing tells us to take the integral of f of x. When I take the integral of f of x, I end up with big F of x. Then this next thing is telling me to take the derivative of that. So after I took the integral of f of x, I'm over here at big F of x. But now that it's asking me to take the derivative, I'm just undoing what I just did. Now I'm going back to my original function f of x. So basically these things kind of cancel each other out. A quick way to think of this is you just plug in your top number into whatever function you have here and subtract whatever you get when you plug in this bottom number into your function. And that's about it. Hopefully one of these ways uh, made sense to you. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I reference were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.